you ever want to do anything exciting? Like what? Idea of doing a riff on Goonies or Explorers in the Star Wars universe feels almost obvious, but it feels feels <laughs> obvious now after you already did it. So how did you arrive at the idea? Yeah, I feel the same way. I was like, has no one done this before? I mean, um, even when we when we were kids and we watched Explorers, we wished that they had gone to Star Wars. Yeah, I remember being a kid and it, I love Explorers and then they go to space and I was like, oh, I thought this was going to be more like... Like Luke Skywalker was going to be there. <laughs> Not that, like, uh, rockabilly alien. <laughs> Top cat, but they rock and roll queen. So the show came out of your disappointment with Explorers, one might say. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. We love I, it. We I love it. Explorers. I was just, uh, as a kid, I thought something else was going to happen. The fundamental idea was just the idea of wouldn't it be fun to see a group of kids that don't really realize they're in the Star Wars universe get lost in the Star Wars universe and then have to try and find their way home. Bringing that sort of new perspective to it, I think, was what got us most excited about it. And would you say, would you call it a kid's show or do you think that all Star Wars stuff is for kids? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the way that Amblin, the Amblin tone has been described, which is, I think it was Spielberg said that we always thought of them as grown-up films that just happen to star kids. So in that way, you know, I... I never thought of this as a kid's show. It just happens to star kids. And it's also a pirate show. There's strong Treasure Island vibes. Yeah, lots of, lots of pirate stuff. Was it yeah. something that was on your mind while working on it? Totally. And that was a great opportunity because the advice we got from Dave Filoni and John Favreau was to try to use the same process that George Lucas made instead of trying to aim for Star Wars. In the same way that he was referencing samurai movies... World War II movies, we went and looked back at pirate serials, like the oldest, oldest stuff. Um, Errol Morris, Errol, Morris. Errol Flynn, <laughs> Errol Morris. We watched Errol. the fog of war. <laughs> Errol Flynn. It yeah. would like watch pirate serials. Yeah. And, and you see that it's like when they swing from ship to ship and the way that pirates fight it is different than stormtroopers. And we wanted to, to have fun with that. Yeah. You take that and you have that intersect with, you know, four 10 year old kids and you, and you get, hopefully something that feels new. I think when Star Wars works really well, it makes you feel like you're a 10 year old kid. So that was sort of our goal was to try and tell something that felt felt universal and, and kind of timeless. Obviously you have some experience with kids having done Spider-Man stuff, some high school stuff. How did it help with Skeleton Crew? I mean, everyone was, was pretty grown up <laughs> in Spider-Man, <laughs> sure. but before that we made a film called Cop Car with two 10 year old yeah. kids. And that was probably the best learning experience because what you realize is that the best way to get a great performance out of a kid is to like really try to immerse them like in the environment. And so that led to us uh, on Skeleton Crew, like really trying to do as much practically as we possibly could with like actual puppeteer droids and big animatronic uh, creatures, like trying to really make the kids feel like they're in Star Wars to capture the most authentic performances that we can. And you rounded up a pretty impressive group of directors with David Lowry, with Daniels, with Lee Isaac Chunk. How difficult was it to get all of them on board? And how difficult was it to execute them to do a sing singular vision? It was so easy yeah, to get them to come on board. Yeah, lucky. I'm just big fans of all of them. Everyone we asked said yes. So it was just a chance to come play around in the Star Wars world yeah. for a little bit. And then we knew that they all got what we were trying to do. We're all similar age and we all... Have the same reference points, yeah. yeah. So in terms of getting them to unite to that vision, I mean, everyone understood what it was. And the series starts with a scene which is directly quoting New Hope's opening. But what I liked about the show the most is the fact that you don't rely on Easter eggs and cameos so much, at least in the three episodes I, I saw. So how difficult was it to resist the urge to include all the usual Star Wars suspects? I always think like you, you want to try and make it work on its own terms. So for us, that was exciting to be sort of given a, a blank canvas um, and not feeling like you have to hit those, um, any like cameo appearances or anything like that. We thought that if we do have any Easter eggs that they could be a lot stranger and deeper cuts. Okay, and simply, which is your favorite Star Wars film? I, well, I'm yeah. the most basic, I like Empire, <laughs> but then... <laughs> yeah, I, get, I mean, basic would just be A New Hope. Is it? Well, everyone and then, says Empire. And then Empire is like, Film school basic. Yeah. 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 If you're a film nerd, you well, what's yours? The darkness. I like Return of the Jedi just because I like Ewoks and I like the ending is at the highest level of drama. I mean, Luke and Vader battling it out and the music swells and all of those themes of Kavis even he throws this lightsaber away. 
It's so moving. What is it about Star Wars that uh, made it such a phenomenon, in your opinion? Then, man, it it gets really deep, and it's 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 really it was really awesome to work with Dave Filoni, who has worked directly with George Lucas, and talk about this stuff. It's not just a fun adventure. It's not just science fiction or fantasy. It's it's like a like a mythology to it, which it, which is what George Lucas intended it to have from the beginning. But it just resonates on a kind of deeper level of meaning and. We tried to live up to that. We tried to find some themes in in our show that could hopefully uh, be meaningful. We'll see. You're a Jedi.